All right, so today I am going to talk about the social and political implications of enlightenment. Specifically, I'm discussing enlightenment in terms of Advaita Vedanta, specifically the teachings of Sri Ramana Maharishi and Sri Ramakrishna. Um, both of these individuals, uh, you know, you know, people believe that they are God-realized beings. And they speak extensively on uh, the nature of the self with a capital S. Um, this is a, a self that is all-encompassing, perfect, immutable, beyond time, space, and causation. Uh, and, and they essentially say that the universe is an illusion. Um, and the uh, reality that you become as a result of that enlightenment is um is you become your true self and you realize that you know just like when you're sleeping and you you have dreams um and you wake up and you realize that you know everything is the dreamer which is you you know you are the dream and and you made the dream and, and it's all one similarly when you wake up in enlightenment you literally awaken from the dream of this world like these trees and you know the houses and the sun it's all it's all illusory so uh i am a political science and economics major or i was one in college so i've always thought about and i'm interested in spirituality so i've always thought about the relationship between enlightenment and economics or politics and um all I can say is that if society shifts into this positive uh, or this transcendent vision of of reality, um, it will it will radically shape. It will radically uh, it will radically destroy many of the foundations of our current capitalist economic system. First of all, you know, it's God realization means you transcend desire. Uh, so what that would mean for the economic, you know, the capitalist machine would is 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 mind blowing, right? Like imagine if people didn't buy crap because they wanted to, you know, imagine if people spent their time meditating and gardening and and and, you know, living a simple life without all the external show of mansions and jets and and you know so so what what would that mean for humanity as a whole um also population growth right you often find that these enlightened sages they don't have children so so uh but but some do some some enlightened you know masters do have children but uh the thing that i'm interested in is oh there goes a car but um the thing that i'm interested in is especially politically speaking like you know currently there's this war going on in ukraine all this you know innocence people dying and and you wonder what's what's the purpose of it all right like war you know people in world war one and world war two they would fight tooth and nail for just you know, a yard of ground, just a yard of mud. It's, it's madness, right? Like, like war is insane, literally. Um, so, so yeah, it's just, and, 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 and realizing that violence is part of like interwoven into human nature is also a, uh, is also a thing, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's my video of uh, the social and political implications of enlightenment.